Hi folks, Dale Fredericks here. Today we're going to talk about setting the pivot foot when you're making a turn on the hindquarters. And let me give you a little background information about this horse. This is a four or five year old stallion. He's cutting horse bread. Uh, he was started, I'm assuming, as a two year old. And he was injured and then put on the shelf and he changed hands several times and recently a roper bought him and asked me if I'd ride him for two weeks. He has some handling issues and it's not raining, wasn't raining too well. So we're redoing him in two weeks. And I started out with him just like I would a colt. I had a snaffle and hackamore on him. But the owner wanted me to ride him with a, a leverage bit, a chain mouthpiece leverage bit, and a tie down. So for the last two days I've been riding him in this, in this equipment. Um, like I said, I started him just like I would a colt. I want to get the, the basic groundwork on him. I want him to turn on the hindquarters, move his hind, front end around his hindquarters a little bit. You can see he's not perfect. He stepped behind himself there. I think some of that's from, he probably had some cutting horse training. But the main thing is just to get him moving at first. And we refine it as we go along. I also want him to, to move laterally off my leg and also to move his hindquarters off my leg pressure. Another thing, he was pretty stiff in the neck. If you would take a rein to one side, he would, his hindquarters would move the opposite way. So I've been doing a little bit of lateral work with him. I put my hand up here to kind of prevent his hindquarters from kicking out and also to encourage him to, to flex more at the pole instead of at the base of the neck. I just give them a little bit of that, just to each side. And then when I get all that stuff done, I want to transfer it to the saddle. And we have other videos too explaining the, the turn on the forehand and the leg yield and the turn on the hindquarters. And I would refer you to them, we explain it in a little more detail. But basically, we want the horse to be able to move off of our leg to the side. We want to control all parts of his body. And we want to remain, we want to re leave the head alone as much as we can. You start restricting it too much and it's kind of like tying a horse to a fence. His hindquarters are going to start moving. So we want to give him a signal and then release. Signal and then release. We also want to be able to move his his front end around his hindquarters. You might start off, since we use this on the ground, you can use it on top at first. Then we want to get where we just use our reins and our body position. And my body position when I'm turning around on, on the hindquarters, I'm gonna have my outside leg back a little bit. My inside leg, like if I'm gonna to turn to the right, my inside leg is going to be slightly ahead. That way I can, I can move the hindquarters over if I need to. And if I need to, I can also push the horse out. If his shoulder drops or something, I can push him out with my inside foot. But more, get more bend in him that way. So when you, when you get all these things kind of working on your horse, I want to start setting the pivot foot. And you can, if the horse is turning to the right, he should plant the right hind foot and then just spin around it, or turn around it at this, at this point. We're not going to really be spinning yet, but it's going to develop into a spin. And you can actually look right down there and you can see that pivot foot. So I'm going to just get in my position for turning and I'm going to lay my rein on. I'm going to watch that pivot foot. And at first this horse, you couldn't even take one step without him moving it. And when he does move it, I'll just put it back. I'll move it back with my outside foot. And I, I realize this horse is not turning around real good yet in front. He's, he goes behind himself sometimes, but right now we're just concentrating on the pivot foot. So let's try it to the left. I'm gonna have my inside leg a little bit ahead. I'm gonna be twisted a little bit. My outside leg back a little bit. 
I'm going to lay my outside rein on him. If I have to get him started with my leg, I'll apply a little pressure with my outside leg. Now right there, he, he stepped out of it. So I'm going to push him back with my outside leg. I'm going to push that pivot foot back under him, and we'll try again. He moved it again. So I put it back again. We got one step, and then he moved it. I'm going to put it back again. I will try it again. He moved it again. I'll put it back again. And we got one step. Moved it again. You can see he's not quite as good to the left as he is to, is to the right. But we just keep working at it and don't get in too big of a hurry, don't get in a sweat. If you feel like you, if you feel his rib hanging out a little bit, you can push it in with your outside leg. And you can even take him out of the, the turn and push him over a little bit to the side. Get him thinking about moving over. Then we'll try him again. There, now we're starting to get it a little bit. Starting to kind of settle down into it. We got about four steps. And have him take one more. Let him think about it for a minute. We'll try it one more time. Got two steps, he moved it, so I put it back. Two steps, three steps, pretty good. So that's basically how, how I go about starting to set the pivot foot. And there's other things you can do to get them crossing over better in front. And of course we're gonna add more speed later. But the main thing is to try and get them to start thinking about setting that foot. With a horse like this, you have things to overcome because he had been, he was used to sticking it outside and backing up. The other thing I would say is don't, don't drill constantly at it. Just go off and do something else for a little bit maybe and then try it again. We don't want to get him sick of it. Right there he's wanting to back up, so I'm going to push him ahead a little bit. And then I always go back to neutral with my legs and my hands. I want him to, to move just off of the weight of the rein and my body position. There, we did pretty good right there until right at the end. So we're going to call that good for now. Hope this helped some of you. Thanks for watching. God bless y'all.